Hey y'all, today I'm going to be showing y'all how I get the lash extension look with strip lashes. So I'm going to show y'all exactly what lashes I use and what glue I use and exactly the technique that I do. So if you're interested, tune in. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Comment down any video suggestions you think I should do. And without further ado, let's get into the video. looking like real extensions without having to go out of your way and going to get extensions. See, the reason why I personally like strip lashes more than extensions is because I had actually went and got extensions and found out that I was allergic, so. I was like, we're gonna have to work with these strips. I do love the strips, don't get me wrong, but it is super convenient when I was waking up every single day, lashes already on, but it wasn't convenient having itchiness under my eyes because y'all already know if y'all have been on my page and seen my first video i'd be like my skin is sensitive i have very sensitive skin so yeah i think before you get your lashes on you should definitely go for a test and you know what's crazy i had actually went back because i let my lash check know like my eyes got super irritated and it was for a prom look. I was extremely irritated and I didn't like the fact that I had to take so much allergy medicine. I <laughs> Boom. I'm gonna show y'all the lashes that I got. Beautiful lashes. I got them from Amazon. So, y'all can screenshot. I love them. Lengthwise, I definitely had to cut a little bit to match my eye shape. I'm gonna get my KISS lash glue. I'm gonna be putting the lash glue right on the top of the lash line because we're gonna be putting the lashes underneath your lashes. I know a lot of people like to put it on top, but that's what gives away the strip lash look. But I feel like underneath your lashes, it's top tier and it can't be beat. And honestly, it can last you a day or even too, if you like make them last and you try not to wet it like you really do got extensions on, it's basically all the same thing. It's glue, you know? But if it starts irritating you and you don't feel comfortable wearing the lash anymore, take the lash off. Like, it's that easy. Like yesterday, I did have the same look on and I was really loving it. And I was like, you know what? They're pretty secure. I don't think they're gonna come off, so boom i started thinking of stuff i get super emotional and crying lashes are off and that is okay but it just gave me an idea though to do this tutorial so it was just really meant to be we have the lash glue on the top of both of our lashes now and we're gonna be just waiting for that to dry as we're waiting for it to dry i like to put a little bit of lash glue underneath my lashes as well just to secure these lashes lift and be super careful this is the part you really got to be gentle don't do too much y'all can see i'm literally just doing like little dots because i really just want to be gentle that was probably the smoothest i've ever put lash glue underneath my lashes so before i hop on the next eye i'm gonna let that dry for a little bit because i don't want it to move but that is probably the best technique I've ever done before. So if you're going to be putting lash glue underneath your lashes so that it will stick better, go ahead and just do dots because you already have glue on your lashes. So just really be gentle with your lashes and try not to get it literally in your lashes. Go like right behind them, but not in your eyes. So this is a, a very skillful technique you're going to have to do, but I promise it is worth it. My outer corners, especially because you don't want them to be hanging on. What is in my head right now is a dot, a dot, a dot will do. More than that is too much glue, literally. Like a dot, a dot, a dot. Maybe a little more so that, like, I don't know, you can get it all the way around, but just literally do it in fractions. Don't do the whole strip right there because 
you gotta be cautious like this is literally i am so grateful i'm recording and i tried something new because that was the best technique i have ever done so go ahead and try that out so right now our lash is looking like that you don't want to put it on while it's still white just like a wig you gotta wait for it to fully be dry so you want to rush the process you can go get a blow dryer and literally dry underneath your eyes I promise that works like you know why wouldn't it work it's literally just air and I used to do that when I would be like five minutes I gotta go I'm out of here but not in a rush it is literally such a lovely day outside and I'm just so grateful I am here presently alive breathing I had a beautiful sleep and I'm here getting my sleep schedule back together I literally have been going to sleep about four or five in the morning why I couldn't even tell you like I my body was just not going to sleep when I need to be going to sleep so last night I laid my body down at 10 30 I'm like I got school in the morning and then I wake up my 9 a.m. is canceled I'm like uh, I gotta I gotta get this routine back in motion because I don't know why I fell off. It was this Thanksgiving break. This Thanksgiving break, I was just doing what I wanna do. Breathe into your love, into these lashes. Oh my goodness. I think another good topic is beauty magic. Considering we're over here applying lashes to our beautiful eyeballs, you guys should definitely be more intentional when you are applying anything to your eyes considering eyeliner when you're doing eyeliner underneath you can intentionally prevent evil eye also when you're doing you're curling your lashes and you're putting your mascara on you can intentionally put energy into that by saying i allow this mascara to allow me to see through all the negative energies through all the fake people through all the lies through all the hate through all the envy through all the jealousy and anything that is blocking me i will now be able to see it because it all works by intention and if you believe in it it also does help if you squeeze the lashes together because obviously they both do have glue so it will definitely stick more yeah. So this one actually came on perfectly. I waited a little bit longer for this one because the inner corner of the glue. So right now I'm just going to pack up my school bag and I should be ready to go. Mm. Y'all this, this is heaven. I'm gonna need to get you some of that. This is another lip tutorial as well because, shoot. This is all the makeup we have on for the day and it's giving, it's giving full face glam by the way we're looking. This is a lip oil and it literally makes my lips, it's color changing lip gloss. I was gonna say, it makes my lips pink. Like absolutely, she's so gorgeous. on the pink all right so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i did enjoy making it and i hope you guys found this video useful and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day lovelies and go ahead and look at my page and my other videos and they're all super awesome and i appreciate the support have a good one